now that we're on that topic of multiple streams of income and passion, sure. you know, what, what, what do you think about that? Oh, I, I have a lot of opinions on it because the goal that I've had uh, for the past like few months or so has been directly like passive income ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I have to make a note of this, Reggie, that I, we live in such like a, I'm sure you know this, but we live in such like a like hustle, like, yeah, every, you, if you don't struggle now, like you mentioned, um, you don't mind sacrificing. And I think I, I would prefer like shifting that um, word to, you know, focusing or taking time out. Um, and it's not necessarily sacrificing, you know, I don't want you to like sell an arm and a leg in order to make passive income because I don't wish poorly on you. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we live in this culture where it's like, if you're not busting your ass, and I'm not, <laughs> there's industries where you have to, but um, yeah, that's where I see the issue is like, I'm making passive income like gracefully. Like I've thought of really good ideas and I'm like, wow, thank you for this call today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like um, I've been putting like art up and I'm like trying to sell that or dividends always make me happy. And yeah, I don't think that it has to be a huge struggle but I understand where that comes from, you know? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect yeah. sense. So, Thank you. And something I want to say to the people watching this video, like you're going to hear this term a lot, probably throughout your lifetime, it's called a hustle culture. And I'm glad you said yeah. that. It's actually a topic I'm really passionate about. And being the extreme person I am, I've been on both ends of the I'm spectrum. I'm extreme too. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I've been on both Thank ends you. of the spectrum where on one end I've done absolutely everything i have stayed up late i have put in mm-hmm. stupid hours every single week and i've been on the other side where i'm just kind of cruising you know and obviously the cruising side is better but typically speaking if you're on the other end of the spectrum the results are going to be a lot more because you're doing a lot more and then if you're on the right. cruising side it might be like for example dividends all you literally have to do is invest in the stock that you've done research on that you know pays dividends right no the stock performs like literally that's all you got to do like um, AbbVie's a good one, Coca-Cola is a good one. And this ain't financial advice or nothing. It's just, <laughs> I can't give y'all that, but. I, I have the, I have those. <laughs> yeah, those examples of stocks that pay dividends, you could you could uh, get uh, ETFs. If you don't want to do stocks, you could do like VOO or VYM. Those both pay like a dollar and 22 cents, something like that every Absolutely. quarter. Like, so it's pretty solid. So obviously if you have hundreds and thousands of these shares, like, of course, it's going to cost money, but eventually that's going to get you a lot of money and passive income as you get older. So that's on the cruising side. Or you could like have like um, an Etsy shop or something, have like art displays or products that you want to put up there. And you can get right. a lot of passive income there too. Or you could even do like affiliate marketing where you have a link on your YouTube channel or a link in your Instagram link tree or something like that. And people can buy stuff that you have on your page. It's like a website without necessarily having a website. So those are kind of cruising ways to do it. But when it comes to hustle culture and actually doing stuff up front, I think if you're young, like when you're young, how, how old are you? I'm 25. Yeah. So 25, like if you're, if you're between the ages of 20 and 30, even Mm -hmm. I would say even 20 to 35 or 18 to 35, whatever, you're pretty young. So when I say the word sacrifice, that's just the word that comes to my mind, but um, that's absolutely right. Like think of words like taking time out or whatever word helps you deal with the reality. The best is the best word to use because the reality is this, the economy is not like it was 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. It's probably could have went to college paid through it with just working a part-time job, not have any debt afterwards. It's not like that now. Now it's like you could work during college and still have $20,000 to pay off once you graduate. So obviously yeah. if you, most people make like 50, $60,000 a year and that's in America, that's pretty much in, in most places in the world. So I would say the above average is like 65. If, even if you make 65, you still got bills, you still got car payments, you still, you might have kids, you might, you know, have date nights with your significant other or something like that, uh, to and from work, you have transportation, uh, you have unforeseen expenses, you might have medical bills, you might have anything that comes up, right? So you're not going right. to have, it's still going to take you probably like 10, 15 years to pay off that $20,000 of debt that you have. 
And that's not yeah. even including credit card debt. And this is talking about low interest debt too. So obviously you got to do something about it. So that's why I think the quote unquote hustle comes into play. I think there's nothing wrong with like, most people work eight hours a day um, yeah. at, at their job, right? You come back home, what's, what's wrong with spending two, three hours on a passion project or something that you know can make you some more money? Like for example, um, my grandfather, he's the one who got me into entrepreneurship, by the way. He had a full-time job, but he also had a pressure washing business on the side. You know, he retired all that now, but he he only spent like maybe three, four hours on his off days, pressure washing houses, made thousands of dollars. So that's the hustle part. Obviously, you're in the hot sun. Obviously, you're doing a little bit of manual labor, but that hustle that you put in right now, that's going to turn absolutely time later because it's going to buy you. It's going to pay dividends. <laughs> it's going to earn you more money, right? Yeah, dividends. It's going to earn you more money in the long run. And then you can use that money to then invest in actual employees to do the job for you. And then you pay them a certain yeah. amount of money. And it's going to keep, the money's going to keep growing and growing. And you keep reinvesting into your business. And that's how it works with anything you do. So I would say this. Um, I love sleep probably more than anybody I know. But I've mm -hmm. definitely given that up. Uh, to see my dream to completion and obviously my dream isn't like a reality yet but it's milestones that are necessary to reach my dream they're becoming a reality every single day so mm -hmm. make, like at first the goal is something simple right so it's like first my goal is I want to make money every single day all seven days of the week for a whole year no matter if it's two dollars, four dollars, I want to make money every single day. That, in, in addition to my job, so that's become a reality. That that's not easy to do though. Like it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to expect money to just come fly to you when you're sleeping, when you're eating, when you're walking, when you're just living your everyday life. But you can make it a reality. Now, my way of doing that was through YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. But now that YouTube is kind of coasting along and doing its own thing, now I can build on the audience I built. I can have like coaching calls. I can have other things that also give me money every single day. And it's absolutely not, my goal is not so much about the money. It's about the freedom that comes with it, because I've like I said, I've been on the other end of the spectrum where I always have to I always had to do something. So I've been on the end of the spectrum where I would work literally 12 hour days every single day, seven days a week. And then I would have like a few a few breaks, a few off days or whatever. And then three months straight of just working every single day. And I was doing that in a side hustle at the same time. That right mm -hmm. there affected my health. It affected my sanity. I didn't have <laughs> breakdowns or nothing. And I, I didn't like, I didn't starve to death or anything, obviously. But I'm, I'm saying I know. It, it affected, it affected like your most favorite thing, which is sleep. So. <laughs> and like my face is full right now right but like at the time my face was like sunken and you could see my cheekbone oh no I had these dark circles under my eyes I mean it was it was crazy so what I'm saying that is though even though that was against my will by the way that was that was work being work <laughs> but mm. I got to now that going through that lets me know that I'm never going to tolerate anything like that again and so that's really what kind of set the light bulb off for me like I'm I'm never tolerating this and that's why people call it quote unquote a few money because you have so much money that you can tell your place of employment you know what I'm out same you wanna, you same wanna with me um pardon no, 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 pardon? no go ahead go ahead oh thank you thank you uh yes I love uh the f u term for that amount of money that you need um because I'm grateful I've like I have it. <laughs> I'm grateful I'm at that point. <laughs> um, because I've like saved and worked as well. Oh my gosh, we don't even want to get into that because I was, yeah, I hear your story and I'm like, I've got some too. <laughs> um, to be beyond that. Um, yeah, no, I had, I'm listening to what you're saying. What, but to go off of like passive income, I kind of assumed it would be like beyond your baseline you know like beyond your uh main goals and like your first job right or like i mean not first job but your main job mm -hmm. passive income being more than that as like multiple streams of income yeah mm -hmm. See. and also it doesn't mean that it's not hard <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> by all means like the the cruising 
um, ideas that I've been having. It, it's a mental struggle for sure. It's like, yeah. And then you, when you do get a sale, you're like, oh my God, I got one sale. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where the discipline comes in because no matter how you look at it, it's either going to be a mental or physical struggle yeah. or both. So it's, it's, it's not going to be easy. And the thing about passive yeah. income, ultimate goal is if you can exceed the amount that you make from where yes. you get, or if you can exceed the amount of bills that you have, which means you would still be taking a pay cut technically from work. But think about all the time you're buying and doing that now. Absolutely. Yeah. The more money you make at work is uh, that's obviously going to play a factor because nine times out of 10, if you have a good paying job, let's say you make a hundred grand a year or something like that, right? You probably already upgraded your living expenses to almost match that. So now you have to work that much harder to make those passive income streams work for that. So that's why I always say there's nothing wrong with also doing active income streams. It could be something like, like I always say, a coaching call. That's my favorite thing to do. You could do a coaching <laughs> call, charge $300 for one coaching call. Sure, that's active income, but you spend one hour a week for a whole month and that's your $300 right there. So that's mm -hmm. making your money add up. That's like equivalent to probably, uh, if you're making six figures, it's not necessarily a day of work, but if you're making like 80 grand a year, that's close to a, a, a day of work right there, $300. And you can- Exactly, hire, yeah. As your, as your value increases and you have your street cred, so to speak, like people <laughs> pay you online and everything, you can jack that price up because you know what value you add to the marketplace. So- that's why I think it's good to put that effort in up front and then you learn from that and then you figure out how to make it easier and how to cruise in that mental struggle, that physical struggle kind of, kind of fizzes out a little bit and it makes life a lot easier for you. And the next thing you know, you're able to retire and you're 35, you know? So that's, that's what my goal is at least. Yeah, um, I'll say this. I, I know I've mentioned it before, but I'll say this on call with you now. Congratulations on six grand, um, 6,000 subscribers. Thank good job you. i appreciate that you're welcome oh my goodness oh i love it uh, but you said street cred so i laughed i was like why yeah <laughs> think of any other word at the time street cred. that's but so yeah, funny street cred. online street cred that's what we'll call it but yeah you gotta, you gotta have some type of credibility and some type of um thing i had the word at the top of my time i can't think of it but yeah credibility like authoritative like you're the authority of you have to know what your you know value is yeah, like you're, you're able to lead and guide people in the specific thing that you know about that. Maybe you're not an absolute expert in, but mm -hmm. you're like 10,000 feet in front of everyone else and they want to come to you and they want to learn from you because you can relate to them some kind of way. Like it may be a way that you speak. It may be something about your body language. It might be your confidence, something that reminds them of them. And it could even be like a cultural type thing. And as long as it reminds them of them, they can resonate with what you're saying and they learn from you that right there is going to give you the ability to add to your pricing. And that right there, yeah, that's, that's something that really can't be bought. Like it really can't. So, but while we're on this topic though, I talk about making more money and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you're not the entrepreneurial type of person. Lynn, I know you are, but like whoever's watching this video, um, maybe you're not an entrepreneurial type of person and maybe you really don't, resonate with that and you can't think of anything or you think you're not good enough I, I can i can respect that i'll say that i disagree with that way of thinking and <laughs> can come up with it but i'll say if you're straight up the type of person that's not willing to want to be one you can make money in any type of way you can think of so like if it's if you're a type of worker you're really good at your job hey why not just keep improving in a skill that makes you move up in your job and that way even if your job shuts down or they let you go or whatever you then have the flexibility to go work anywhere in the world because I've seen right like, for me my skill set is in two things engineering uh well no three things engineering process <laughs> improvement and managing right so I, I do all three of those things and something that I can say is I've only been doing this stuff for like five years almost six and having this skill if if my company shut down or if they did a massive layoff I could comp I could confidently say I can go anywhere in the world, make the same money I'm making now, doing the same thing I'm doing now, or maybe less, because I, I was able to build that credibility. So really, the, the key to this video is credibility. And with with making more money comes with a lot more things. So I would say, and I want to know what you think on this, Lynn. I mm -hmm. think 
more money you make, the more money you should save and invest simultaneously yes. and invest. And uh, for example, literally a few days ago, I just got promoted on my job and that, that was a big bump. So now I'm going to create the plan of how much more I want to save and invest. I'm not doing anything upgrading my lifestyle. I'm keeping everything the same, but you save and you invest. That's how people get wealthy. 